Even during the offseason, Taylor Swift remains the Kansas City Chiefs chair captain. One week after Travis Kelce's team won the 2024 Super Bowl in Las Vegas, the blank space singer was seen in Australia wearing the NFL team's champion's hat. In a photo obtained by TMZ on February the 19th, the 14-time Grammy winner who recently completed three Eras Tour stadium gigs in Melbourne can be seen boarding a plane while wearing Chiefs gear. Taylor also seemed to be wearing her TNT friendship bracelet, an apparent present from Travis that refers to the couple's initials, as she left Melbourne. What's next for Taylor? She's ending February with four concerts in Sydney before starting March, with seven shows in Singapore Swifties are hopeful Travis would attend a handful of his girlfriend's forthcoming shows. After all, he would be repaying the favor after Taylor flew from her February 10 concert in Tokyo to the Chiefs' Super Bowl game on February the 11th. Thank you for coming, Travis said Taylor as he celebrated his team's win. Thank you for making it halfway around the world. You are the best baby. The very best. How do you not have jet lag right now? He later inquired, to which she promptly replied, Jet lag is a choice. Prior to the game, the athlete acknowledged Taylor's support during the NFL season. It's been nothing but fun, he said to CBS Sports' Tracy Wolfson. We've both been learning about this lifestyle, knowing that I introduced her to the football world. It's been an unexpected ride, and I've been having a blast. Continue reading to see Taylor and Travis's entire love story which began with a friendship bracelet Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce's love story began in July 2023, when the Singers Eras Tour stopped at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. As a great Swift fan, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end attended the show, in the intention of presenting Taylor a friendship bracelet with his number on it. However, he was unable to finish the pass because of her pre-show rituals. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings, Travis said in the July 26 episode of his New Heights podcast. So, I was a little but hurt I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. After publicly detailing his fumble which Taylor later described as metal as hell Travis, decided to take his shot, and invite the Grammy winner, to see the Chiefs play at Arrowhead Stadium. I threw it out there, and I put the ball in her court, he said on the Pat McAfee show. I told her, I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead. You should come watch me rock the stage in Arrowhead and see which ones a little more illuminated. So, let's see what occurs in the near future. When Travis first met Taylor, he was sporting a mustache, which he had debuted during training camp in August. As he subsequently recalled of the era, that statue in the 87 jersey was pretty iconic there for a little bit, and I had it when I met Taylor for the first.